And I'm gonna tell you about the first time that I smoked weed. Are you ever smoking hashies? Yes. This is the local museum that we have here in Haugesen and I'm gonna tell you about the first time that I smoked weed. Yes, this little innocent guy smoked weed. Let me tell you the story. <laughs> uh, this is the place we always used to skate when we were kids. They have these curbs and stairs, basically good flat ground to skate. We were hanging out there also in the weekends because when I was 13 I started drinking. We started going to town and as you can guess we couldn't get in in the clubs because we're yeah we're fucking kids. <laughs> so we're just hanging out there at the museum every Friday and Saturday night when we're out in town and we would sit there and just talk to random drunk people and try to get some liquor or something from them. Most of my friends were smoking normal cigarettes not weed. They also did smoke weed and then these two Danish people came walking about at the place. I didn't understand anything that they were saying but Apparently they were trying to hide something, so they had this little brown cigarette, this fat cigarette, that, well, a blunt, basically. And then they were sitting there, yeah, we're smoking hashies. Yeah, man, ran hashies. That's my best way of saying something in Danish. Yeah, hashies, yeah, yeah, camelot. These guys were super wasted, and we sat a couple of meters from them. They were sitting in the corner of the museum, and they sat there like, <laughs> smoking it. We only heard about weed in skate videos and especially in the Larry Clark movie Kids, which is one of my all-time favorites. If you haven't seen it, check it out. The Danish guy, they threw away this blunt on the ground and left. And we just waited till they passed the corner and we just jumped right on it. I was the first one because I was always the, the eager one, the, the curious, uh, curious George. So I took it up and I held it and I I told the guys, like, shit, is this the first time we're gonna smoke weed? It was exciting and innocent. We didn't know about the consequences back then. I'm not saying that everybody who smokes weed turns into a drug addict, but apparently in Haugesund, that's what happens to most people. Nothing personal against the people who smoke and blah 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 and manage to live a normal life, all that shit. My main opinion is I don't like anything of it, so basically. Yeah, I hate drugs, weed, everything. So, I'm holding this weed. <laughs> I'm not sure now, thinking back to it, if it was actually weed, but to us, that was the first time meeting of an actual blunt of weed. So I hold this gray cigar that's been man-made. It's not something they bought in the store. You can see they've cracked it open and put some shit in it. So I'm just about to inhale like, dudes, I'm gonna cross this off my bucket list of shit I'm gonna do in my life. So I take the weed, the blunt and I was just about to inhale it and I do like this and as I'm breathing in like this everything falls out nothing it's just the paper like all the inside of the blunt just fell on the ground there was nothing in it so basically I just breathed it in air like and I look at the other guys and we all saw what happened we all knew that no you didn't inhale anything of whatever was inside this weird looking cigar like Bill Clinton's cigar <laughs> and we just looked at each other but we all agreed yeah we've tried weed now <laughs> now I don't have to do it ever again because I just had to do it once in my life just to say when I talk to people yeah I smoked weed yeah I tried weed, I've tried everything, my friends. I'm extreme, I'm a rebel. So I'm very happy that my first encounter with weed, if it was weed at all, was with these two drunk Danish people, Jakamelos, that dropped it right behind here, on the ground. So there you go, people, my first weed experience. And for those who have no idea who I am, inform you that I quit drinking when I was 15. So I drank from when I was 13 to I was 15. Never touched anything since. Straight edge. You can see the video why I don't drink in this link right here. Let me know if you want to hear other stories of uh, my life in Haugesen. Tour stories, travel stories, whatever. Write in the comments below. What would you like to hear from my life? Hmm? What would you like to hear? Let me know. Thanks for watching the vlog. Yeah, Camelot. Yeah, Remember to subscribe and share. And now I'm going back to the office and I see you next week, next Tuesday.
and for your Norwegian viewers, I will see you on Thursday. Have a lovely day, people. Bye. And Sony t-shirts. Get your merch. Get your merch. Vlog! <laughs> Okay, this ended up to be one of the funniest things that I did today and I didn't get to film it properly. I was standing against that wall to film the intro but a bunch of people walked by and just stared at me as I'm standing there like a fool trying to hide at the wall. It was almost the best thing of the damn movie. And this is us in uh, uh, Legoland in Denmark and it's a little bit strange that they have a, a prostitute Lego woman, but as you can see, we liked her a lot. I, I just spat on my own shoe. Yeah, on these.